hi all this is lauren from the lks address welcome back to our youtube channel this week we're going to be continuing on our stair project we're going to finish it out this is part two if you missed part one we got our stair dry fit all of the building materials done cut dry fit we'll link that video in the description if you want to check it out and this week we're going to be refinishing the railing painting all the treads and risers installing everything and styling the room even though we won't have our floors installed yet or the baseboards, we still want to style the room because I personally am itching to see a little bit more of a finished product around here. We've been in a construction mess for about six months now, so any inkling of decor or just, you know, switching up what we've been doing is going to feel really nice. So we're going to style the room and we'll take you along for that too. Okay, so we are officially about to be ready for primer. So... I'm going to do a quick pass cleaning everything with the crud cutter and make sure the surface is really nice and clean and then also take a taff cloth and just run it through everything. Make sure not, no extra dust or debris is left on this stair before we start priming it. Have primed our stair. We used the Zinzer Bin oil based primer. We haven't used it before, but apparently, this stuff has the best adhesion to wood and it is really interesting. It's like water, but then as soon as we brushed it on, it went on really thick. It got us a really nice coat and, and it does seem like it's going to have great adhesion. One little tip that I learned from painting the window trim from the oak to white is that I caulk after now because if you can see after we did this first run of primer now I can really easily see all the spots that I need to go back and caulk so today we will do a quick sand on this so we can get a really nice finish along the whole thing and then after that I'm gonna start caulking all the areas that need to be caulked and then we'll be ready to start taping off and prepping for paint and spraying this stair, which is awesome. Okay, Cam, so let's talk about what we've been debating for the last day. As you know, we've said, I think we said it multiple times on this uh, video that we were planning on spraying the stair railing, but I don't know. What do you think? It's very tempting from a saving time perspective, but the fact that we just had this whole entryway professionally painted, it's white, we're gonna be spraying, or using black on the railing. It's just a little out of our comfort zone. We've only used the sprayer once or twice. To do it on something like this might be a little intimidating for now, but I think just a safer choice, and even easier choice potentially for us, at least, to just, just brush it feels the cool way. So I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so we've watched a ton of videos last night on how to paint a stair railing with a brush. We'll see how this goes because we're about to start right now. So last night we caulked everything up like we said. This morning we ran another tech cloth across the whole thing to clean it up. Then I taped, we always use frog tape. It has never failed us. And for extra insurance, we took our credit card and ran it along the edge because we're using black paint on a white wall so we want to triple check that we're not going to have any bleeding and then today we will be using the armor steel treadplex from sherwin williams with some purdy brushes which were recommended used with this paint the nylon brush so here's what we're using exactly nylon polyester let's paint in order to achieve a really nice finish on the stair railing we painted a coat, then we would go and sand with 220 grit really lightly. We would tack cloth again to clean it up before we started the next coat. So we repeated this over three coats of the stair and this is what helped us get a really smooth, nice finish, even with a brush. 
So this weekend, Cam and I painted for, I don't know, 10 to 12 hours, but look at this behind me. The railing is done and it is beautiful. The paint finish is, and we're really happy with it and ready to get painting these treads and risers so we can get them installed and wrap this project up. As Cam started painting the treads, he was originally using a roller and for some reason this paint was just not going on well at all. He called me over, we took a look at it and surprisingly, we ended up getting a better finish on these with a brush, which we actually like better too because the railing was brushed and our touch-ups would be brushed. So it gave a consistent finish. So I feel like people always think that rolling is gonna give you a better finish, but it totally depends on the situation and here's a good example. Okay, we have all the treads pre-painted, laid out. We've honestly been dreading putting these in because we've never done this before and you kind of only get one chance. We don't want to screw anything up because we love how it looks so far. So here goes nothing. Our process of installing the treads. First, we take the vacuum. We have a lot of construction dust that we're trying to clean up. Vacuum the stair. We're doing each one one at a time so that we're not knocking dust onto the whole thing. Then I take a slightly wet rag and just run across to get any extra dust. Let that dry for a minute or two so we're not applying it to a wet stair. Then we've got some scraps of ram board and at each step that I'm installing, I'm just sliding it on the skirt. Since we pre-painted it, we don't want to nick up our skirt. So that kind of just helps protect it and also gets it centered, honestly. Then we're going to take the tread and we're going to dry fit it first, make sure it still fits good, is level, and then we'll put down the construction adhesive. So we numbered our treads on the back. So number two, we're on step number two. We're going to take our piece, we're going to dry fit it in first. And as you can see, when we put it in, these are really helping protect our sides, not get nicked up. Fits well, I'm gonna check for level. A bunch of these steps have been a little off. There's like a little bit of give. So we've been applying some extra adhesive in this corner. So this is another reason why we like to dry fit it. So we'll, we'll fix this once we put the adhesive down next. We use the same process here at the landing. We dry fit everything, make sure it all look good. And then permanently installed with the uh, Loctite PL adhesive and then nailing. We decided that we did not want to pre-paint this section because we wanted a wood fill first, get all the joints done. So this ended up taking us quite a long time to complete because we had to set, wood fill, sand, and then prime and then paint, but it was worth it. Hi. So it's a new weekend and this weekend, Cam and I are hoping to tackle the rest of this stair and get all of the remaining pieces installed. So over the course of the week, we got the rest of the landing installed, which we showed you, and then we wood filled, got the first coat of primer, and then the first coat of black paint on. So almost done with the landing. As you can see, we still need to get all of the risers installed. So that's what we're trying to finish today. And we've got a couple other little projects that we're gonna work on while there's paint drying and the risers are drying. So let me show you those real quick. So as we get these risers installed and this second coat of paint on the landing, we're gonna have to let it be and not touch the stair for a while. So we still haven't painted the, the rest of this hallway. It's a disaster right now. Cam started priming. We got all the trim removed. So we installed the light and have painted the ceiling. So we need to get this hallway painted. <laughs> And for installing the risers, we use the same process as the treads. We dry fit, applied construction adhesive to the back of the riser, and then nailed in with the nail gun. It was very easy. And by this point, we were pretty confident in installing these, so it went a lot smoother and less stressful than installing the treads. The 
This is how much tape it requires to caulk black and white. The caulk literally goes everywhere. This is so much easier. So today, Cam and I are off to the local flea market, which has been on pause during winter, but apparently it's a really large antique flea market. So we're really excited and we're hoping that we can try and find a frame for right behind me to try and finish off our foyer and maybe just like some accessories and whatever we find maybe for other areas in the house, but we'll see. Hopefully we can get lucky with how many vendors are supposed to be here. We just got to the flea market and first off, it is 60 degrees out today in March in Chicago. It's amazing. We haven't found anything yet, but we're keeping our eyes open and hopefully we'll come home with something good. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> so the flea market was a little bit of a bust. I think I put way too high of expectations on it. I thought it was just gonna be one giant antique store. Well, there, we did find a guy who said he has a lot of antique oil paintings. So we're probably gonna go back next month and see if he has brought more stuff. But we continued on to our favorite antique store in Aurora and Cam's great eye found us something wonderful, which we can show you when we get home. Back home with all of our antique finds. So last time we went to the antique store in Aurora, we got this plant pedestal stand which we love nice marble top this week on facebook marketplace we found this antique bench for the area we wanted a really small bench here we're going to refinish it and reupholster it eventually don't know when that's going to happen but today cam found this marble table at the store it was covered in stuff it's very hard to see in this like little spot and like this thing is just stunning i just love it it looks so good with the white and the black of the stair and then we had been keeping our eye on these marble lamps and we just had to take them. Like last time we went, there was like 10 of them. This time there was much less. So we decided to take these two little babies home with us. And I love them, love it all. We just got our fourth coat of stain on our bench and it's looking really nice. So now at this point, we are done staining. We're gonna let it dry for at least like 48 hours and then we're gonna spray it with a coat of poly to finish it off and then reupholster the seat. <laughs> Next little project here in the foyer is doing a little DIY to this picture frame. Cam and I just picked this up off Facebook Marketplace. We searched high and low. It was actually harder to find the correct size frame than I was imagining. We went to a bunch of antique stores. I looked on Facebook Marketplace for probably two weeks, but we got a good one. And although I don't mind the painting at all, we want something that's portrait orientation for this space. So we're gonna be doing a little DIY to this. And this is gonna go right here on the wall. So hopefully we can have a successful DIY and it turns out well, we'll see. Okay, I got the canvas out of the existing frame. So now you can see it's only a frame. So we needed a new back for this. Therefore, I took some cardboard in our basement. We have a ton of big sheets and I cut it to size. So that's the correct size. I made it a tiny bit larger and it's gonna fit in there really snug and that's how it's gonna hold in. So I'm gonna mount the picture with adhesive to this piece of cardboard and this picture will be ready to go. So we've got our picture in the frame and this is one of my favorite pictures from New York. So I really wanted to use it, but after we got it in the gold frame and in the room, Cam is not really pleased with it. So we're, we picked out a new picture and we're getting it printed and we'll explain why we think the new one will work better. So hopefully it does. We should have done this from the start, take the rendering of our foyer and drop in some picture options. So this is what we're starting with, the New York photo that we already got printed that we aren't entirely happy with. And we wanna look at a couple more options and avoid getting lots of pictures printed. So here's one option of downtown Chicago. We thought this was a little off the shelf and wanted something moodier. So there's another option. Oh, this is one of, one of my favorite photos from Cam. It's the Chicago Tribune. I like the green element, but again, not moody enough, not enough contrast. 
The next option, really good CTA picture. I loved the warmth that the orange brings, very moody. However, the original antique painting had like a really nice quality of it because it was a painting. So we wanted something a little different for the photo we're gonna use. This was a really good option. The rain just gave this a quality of like a painting and this is what we're gonna go with. So with that, let's take you through our foyer reveal. So Cam and I are sitting on the completed stair, which is amazing because this was a really long project. Caused us a lot of headaches, but in the end it was worth it. I think we're both very happy with the finished product, but we more so can't wait to see the rest of the house evolve with it because this is like the first thing we have done that's our style. So it still looks like a tiny bit out of place, but we know that once it's done, it will all jive together. But Let's reflect on our stair project. So Cam, what's your high and your low of the stair project? The high is obviously getting it done, finished, looks amazing. Um, low is probably just the amount of finishing detail work that we had to do, both of us, from caulking the edges, which Lauren was amazing at, to uh, going over those with the black paint and then making sure this uh, this edge didn't bleed through to the white and just tedious little things, taping, untaping, finishing uh, the painting, just all that little stuff at the end was just really starting to get to both of us, but definitely worth it in the end, looked amazing. And I would say my high and low, I think the high was Cam and I have built so much confidence in ourselves to tackle things around our house that we didn't think we could actually do by ourselves. So this was obviously like way out of our realm. Like we had never even really used power tools by ourselves. We always had our parents like guiding us and helping us. So now we know that we can achieve like whatever we set our mind to. And I think that would be like also the low. The low was in the beginning of this project, we had no confidence in ourselves. Like we knew what we wanted and how to do it, but could we actually get it done and do it successfully? And like very nice to where like, it didn't look like an amateur had finished the project and like we wanted to redo it in a couple years. So stressful, but definitely worth it. And with that, we're gonna close out our Sarah Project video. So it was a two-parter. It was so much work, but again, we're so happy that it's done. And what it means for you guys is that we're gonna be moving on to our next project, which we have been impatiently waiting to get to. I don't know if Cam is dying to get to it, but I know I am. And we're gonna reveal that very soon and hopefully start to drop more YouTube videos more consistently with less time in between and really stay on top of things. So please follow us along for the next project in our house. And thanks again for being here. Hi, Cam and I, <laughs> we filmed the reveals today, so we cannot wait to share that with you. But when you're watching this video, you're gonna already, no, this is stupid.